Hi, you guys. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a fade effect in Canva. Let's go. So here we are in Canva. If you use Canva to create images for your business, for your social media, anything like that, make sure you hit subscribe. And there's a Canva hacks playlist that you'll want to check out. So we're going to create an image here. Let's say you're selling this delicious bibimbap. So say you have this photo, you took it of your meal or of the food that you serve in your restaurant and you wanted to use this for an advertisement and you want to put some kind of text over here. Um, and you, you run into a couple of issues. One, you want to keep the image in its entirety and you realize that the, the dimensions that you need have this extra white space here. So that's problem number one. And problem number two, if you put text over this, let's say Monday special, you are going to lose some of that text in the background. Now, what a lot of people will do is they they might put a block behind the text, like a white block or a black block. Um, they might try to adjust the color of that text. Uh, Canva now has some shadowing effects. So if you wanted to, that might help to bring some, some um, contrast behind the letters. It's not bad, right? But if you wanted to give this picture kind of a fade to white or even fade to black or fade to any color right here on the right side, I'm going to show you how to do that. So we'll go to elements and come up here and type in gradient. There are other keywords that you can use to search for this, but that's what I always use. It's usually somewhere in the middle of that first scroll down and you're going to click this purple gradient right here. So basically, if you want to fade to white, you want to make both of these white and I will show you how this works. So we're going to rotate this actually instead of rotating it like that you can just flip it here and align the edge to the edge of your photo and drag it open so now you have that that fade to white effect here and you don't lose the edge you can position this backwards so that the text is over it and you would probably make this text black or a darker color and now that stands out. Now, if you are feeling like there's too much fade that's coming over the photo, the only way to adjust this that I know of, at least for now until Canva fixes this, is you can make it smaller, copy the element, and just bump it up against itself just beneath it. So you might need to play with this, um, just kind of see what sizes work moving it up, moving it down, moving it left and right, just to get all of the edges aligned. So obviously that's not perfect alignment, but you get the idea. You can also fade to black or any color. So I'm just gonna show you how that works really quick. So let's go ahead and change our background to black. And we are going to have to take both of these to black, this one as well. And we can change our letters to white. And now you've got to fade to black. That actually works nicely with this. So there you go, quick hack. If you have any questions, if you want any other Canva tricks and tips, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you try this and how it works for you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.